Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of the Ghost Case Smoked version and Talus Moon Whisper Legacy fan installation. <clears throat> uh, this is not going to be the uh, reassembly of the Xbox 360 itself. I'm just running some quick tests to make sure the DVD drive opens up correctly. The CDs are, um, the CD doesn't go in and starts making any funny noises. Everything is running smoothly. Um, making sure the power is being distributed well. The LEDs for the case and the LED for the fans and the whisper fans are running just making sure everything's running smooth before I start to uh, screw everything up and reattach the case because it'll be the worst thing ever when I if I do that and then hit the power button when the case is all attached and um, the fan doesn't spin up the lights don't turn on or the DVD drive there's something sticking out that's touching the CD yeah, this is kind of like um, <clears throat> common sense to just run quick diagnostics before you reassemble anything just to make sure everything's running. So pretty much reassembling the Xbox 360 for me. It's going to be a lot, lot, a lot more easier than when I try to disassemble it. Because one, mentally I know how everything's going to be working now. I know what to expect now. And two, well that's pretty much it. There's really no second um, explanation for why. It's just that you're, you're used to everything now. Um, even though I've done this before, it's just that the, the time that I have did it before is such a long time away from now. I pretty much forgot a lot of stuff. On and what to expect basically. So now that we have the torques, the um, the the torques. What number are those again? I think it's the the tens, and then the motherboard torques are the eights. But we have the torque screws, um, screw it in. So it's time to to attach the other side of the case. Also, I had like a um, I had a bit of worries that the this case that I bought right here wasn't going to attach as smoothly as the original Xbox 360 case meaning that there might be a bit of gaps being left out um it's it's not perfectly um uniform and attached like the original cases but it's it's still relatively good if i if i had to judge it by percentage i say that the original case is 100% attached while this case is more around the uh what, 96 to like 98% where it's just those little tiny gaps and those little tiny you know like unevenness to the case's alignment so now i'm just going to reinstall the uh flaps that the f the top flap that holds the hard drive and then um install the bottom vent flap and then install the the faceplate and then we're going to I'm going to show you how the uh LED lights look while the case is assembled as you can see right now this case is a smoked version meaning that it's like a nice glossy finish uh, it's like a black shiny glossy finish where when the LED lights inside of the Xbox 360 are not on, you do not see any of the internal components. But as soon as you switch the Xbox 360 on, that's when you'll be able to see inside the Xbox 360. And it looks magnificent in real life. Um, maybe in about uh, two, to, two weeks to a month from now, I'm going to try to um, actually swap out the LED lights for the Talus Moon Whisper fans and probably get buy another... LED kit light for the case which is going to be a, I might get a green color or I might get a red color most likely I'm going to get a green color to more match the uh, power LED light for the Xbox 360 you can change those lights too but the thing is that you need to have a soldering iron and I don't want to get into all of that so I'm just going to possibly just maybe get it where it's going to be a green light so everything just looks you know even and nice Plus the green and black looks very nice and it's just Xbox 360's or Xbox in general's color scheme. As you can see this thing looks magnificent. I really really love the way the lights illuminate and show the inner um, part of the Xbox 360. It looks even better in real life. The camera and YouTube really doesn't do this any justice at all. Um, I spent uh, about 40 bucks for the case and about 30 bucks. No it was about yeah, around that price and about 30 bucks for the fan. 
And then I paid for uh, Saturday delivery shipping, which came up to about 80 bucks. So all in all, I said that this $80 purchase that I did was, it was pretty much worth it. It's just, a, it's just ma mainly it's an aesthetic boost to the Xbox 360. But I really enjoy the way my Xbox 360 looks now. And overall, it just increases my enjoyment for this console. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just feel free to post them. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Later.